Hey guys, come on in. So we're gonna give you guys a home tour of a renovation project we took on at the bottom of Signal Hill. And it's currently being used now as an Airbnb. So I hope you guys enjoy the home tour. My name is Nancy Wadden and we took this project on with uh, Malcon Construction and Design. So we are just inside our house on the bottom of Signal Hill. Uh, we took this project on as a renovation project. So we're going to give you guys a little bit of a home tour. So we're starting off now in the, just the porch area. Um, so when you're furnishing an Airbnb, you, you got to do it on a little bit of a budget and you want to use some local things. Uh, so this was just kind of a nice interest. This is actually my father's cross country skis. So we were able to like haul these out of the basement, dust them off and, and just bring them in. It brings like a nice natural old element to the house. Um, right here we just have the parking pass hung up for visitors as soon as they walk in through the door. Um, so we're just going to take you into the living room and give you an idea of what the house uh, looks like now. And we're going to throw up a few before and after pictures so you guys can see because there used to be some green carpet and orange walls, so the transformation is pretty cool. We are in the living room of the Airbnb. We wanted to keep it light, uh, breezy, make it feel really clean. Uh, so previously, we're gonna shoot you, we're gonna show a little uh, before picture of it used to be kind of dark and dingy. Um, and what we did is we went with uh, Snowbound White for the Walls. So this is by Sherman Williams. Uh, and we brought in some kind of local furniture uh, and we tried to use like a lot of recycled material. So this was actually a table that we found on Kijiji. Uh, so this woman uh, was moving and she was just looking to get rid of it. Uh, so we got this table for around 300 bucks on Kijiji, which was a great find. This picture right here is actually an old picture of downtown uh, on Water Street, I believe it is. And this was another just old find. Actually, my dad had this like lane in the office on the floor. Uh, so I just sneaked this and put this up on the wall. And I think it's nice for people from away to see the local history and kind of flavor. Um, and that makes your Airbnb a little bit more unique for the area. So we'll take you in kind of like the TV area. Uh, this was another, my, my cousin got this from his work and he actually stained this uh, and then sanded a bit. And I think it kind of brings like a nice fun color to the room because there's a lot of white. This TV stand right here, this TV stand was a real headache to put together. Probably took like eight hours to put together. Never do it again. But anyways, it's together and people can watch TV from the living room. Yeah, and then uh, have a look up here. This is really cool. I like this. So they're a little bit hard to see, but these are actually old license plates. Uh, and these date back before Confederation. Um, and again, another like recycled material. Found this in a shed, uh, my grandfather's shed actually. Um, and we just put this up here as kind of like a nice feature on the wall and people get to see um, some interesting pieces from old Newfoundland, uh, which we really like to kind of bring in uh, to the room. So yeah, let's go check out the kitchen area. All right guys, um, actually before we get into the kitchen, uh, I want to show you this kind of like little hallway here. Uh, so this is really cool, we'll show you the before picture, but there actually used to be a closet right here. But we really wanted to open it up um, give more space, but we didn't want to lose the storage. So we had a built-in bench, and this is just a, a countertop, wooden countertop that we actually just cut, kind of cut to made it. Um, so it still gives you a little bit of storage. Uh, we had the nice feature of a shiplap wall, uh, and then this mirror, we got this from Beauclair. Uh, so it just kind of makes it feel bright, opens it up a little bit more. Um, and just gives you that storage, which downtown houses, it's really tricky. You always want extra storage. Uh, and then over on this side, on the back of this is the laundry room, uh, but we just added this sliding barn door, uh, just for a little bit of like interest. Uh, it also, as opposed to a door that either swings out this way, um, this just gives you a little bit more space in the hallway, uh, which is a really nice feature. And then for the Airbnb guests, all of our Recommended tours are right here. So check those out. So come on to, into the kitchen. We have the lights on, yes. Well, when we purchased this house, this uh, this kitchen was already done, so that was a little bit of cost savings for us. Uh, so some of the finishings and stuff is not 
uh, like the countertops and the backsplash is not something that we picked out, but it was nice to have that all done when we purchased the house. So we're just trying to fit our dishwasher, as you can see, it's like right in the middle of the kitchen right now. So we have guys coming back tomorrow morning. It's gonna be a tight squeeze, but they're gonna get that dishwasher in for us. Um, so it has everything you need in here for Airbnb guests. And again, it, it's not huge, but it's a, it's a nice little space for people to come and feel at home uh, when they're away and they're traveling. So let's go upstairs and I'll show you guys the bedrooms, the before and after pictures and also the bathroom, which is my favorite part of this house. So let's check it out. So yeah, we're just at the top of the stairs here now. I just wanted to show you this before we show you the bedrooms, but again, this is um, some kind of cool feature that we framed old envelopes. So they have like the stamps, uh, Newfoundland stamps here, and it says St. John's Newfoundland 1929. Uh, so again, we just frame them pretty cheaply. Uh, and again, nice Newfoundland feature to put on the wall for Airbnb guests. So we'll just take you in the first bedroom here. Before and after pictures are kind of crazy. It's hard to imagine um, what it used to be and what it is now. Um, we, again, I love white. I always go white with the walls. I feel like it makes it re feel really clean. So we use the Snowbound by Sherman Williams. Uh, just on the wall over there, we have uh, posters that we got off, I believe the website is uh, Junkware. Uh, we can like, maybe link it. Not expensive at all, I think they were $8. Uh, for each poster and uh, we just frame them and put it up on the wall just uh, for a little bit of interest. just wanted to point out these beds actually uh, were locally made. Uh, so I believe the company is Pine Grove Furniture uh, and he makes them here in Newfoundland. He hand makes the beds and relatively uh, inexpensive for a bed frame. I believe it was 500 550 Pretty reasonable price. And it's nice to be able to tell guests that the beds were uh, locally made and sourced right here in New Zealand, which is awesome. And we kept the sheets white, uh, duvet and linen, everything white. This was a recycled uh, bedside table that we just painted with uh, chalk uh, paint, uh, which is really, really nice. Uh, oh, it's a mineral chalk paint, I believe. Yeah, just brings a nice color to, to the room. So let's go check out the master and then the bathroom. So follow me this way. Again, this is the master, and I want you to see these windows right here. Just because if you saw the before photos, um, I think what we did by adding these uh, bigger windows in really brought in more light to the room and it completely made a difference. There was also carpet on the floor previously. Um, and we used uh, high-end laminate, but we actually got the laminate from another project. Uh, someone was ripping it up and putting it in hardwood, but it was still perfectly good laminate and we were able to save some of it and use it at this project. Um, and these posters right here on the wall, again, I think they were like $8 per poster and we picked up the frames and a local artist does them uh, and it just adds like a nice little kind of modern vibe to to the rooms. This right here, I don't know if you can see it on the camera, this wall, you know, it's not that exciting right now, but this used to be the closet space for the master. So I wanna show you guys what we did in the bathroom over there to make the bathroom a little bit bigger. And that was a decision we made to kind of, we still have a closet here. I know it's a small one, but Airbnb guests don't need a huge amount of storage. Uh, so they can still put their clothes in there, um, but we actually took the space from the closet, bigger closet, and we gave it to the bathroom. So follow me to the bathroom and I'll show you guys exactly what we did. So this is the bathroom. Again, I, I love the before and after photos in the bathroom. Uh, it's awesome. So there used to just be a single sink vanity right here. Um, these fun hooks are actually from Beauclair. Well, this is the closet space uh, that would used to be in the master bedroom. We uh, made it a part of the bathroom. This vanity is just from Ikea um, and the mirror is from Beauclair. And I really love adding the wood, say the wood mirror with the white contrast of the white walls. I think it brings like a nice uh, kind of clean, fresh finish to it. And 
this was the bathroom. I think this was the craziest kind of transformation to the whole project to see the before and after photos. And then we have one uh, bedroom at the end of the hall down there. Now it's not furnished or anything, um, but we just did similar, add a new floor, new window, painted it. Um, and eventually we're gonna be turning that into a third bedroom for the Airbnb. But this is currently active online, list it as a two bedroom, and eventually we're gonna switch it into a three. So I hope you guys enjoyed the tour of our little house downtown in St. John's. Um, if you guys have any more questions about houses in the area, the Airbnb process, or if you're looking into a renovation uh, project yourself, looking to purchase a project, uh, property, reach out. I'd love to hear from you guys or just even sit down, pick your brain. i uh, love to connect. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the home tour.